Hi everyone. So now let's start off with absorption costing. Now absorption costing is one of the costing techniques used by managers and it gives a view on a cost. So remember there are different views as to as to classify costs. So absorption costing is one view which we'll discuss very soon that managers often use. Now the purpose or the means of absorption costing is that it will help you in determining the total cost of production. and it's also called as total costing right so now absorption costing takes the view of a total cost so all the costs that were involved in the in the production process will be absorbed as your total cost of production now why is this method important because this method allows you to calculate your selling price in order to recover your total cost as opposed to just recovering your marginal cost over here and it also ensures that the profits that the business makes after comparing it with your total cost over here will ensure that the business will survive in the future that's the actual profit made by the business it's a technique used for long term planning since in the long run the total revenue should cover both direct and indirect cost now let me explain what the view of absorption costing is now absorption costing believes that cost should be classified as direct cost or indirect cost what's the difference between the two direct cost will be those cost that can be traced on per unit basis so if you can calculate the cost for every single unit produced that cost will be classified as direct cost some of the examples raw material now you would know that how much material is required to make one single unit so you can calculate the cost of raw material for one single unit direct labor now the labor that is directly involved in producing the unit you would know that how many hours will the labor take what will be the wage rate paid on hourly basis and that would also be classified as a direct cost so direct cost will be those cost that you can trace on a per unit basis as opposed to indirect cost indirect cost are also known as overheads indirect cost are those cost that cannot be traced on a per unit basis so a firm cannot determine the cost per unit in this case for example rent so so when you pay rent for the factory the landlord will ask you rent for the entire factory he will not charge you rent for one single unit produced so that's a lump sum cost that can't be traced on per unit basis electricity bill supervisor salary again these are cost that will be paid in lump sum and they cannot be linked to the output produced per unit so the difference between these two cost is if you can trace the cost for one single unit you will classify that as a direct cost and if you cannot trace the cost directly to the output then it will be it will be classified as an indirect cost and it will usually be paid as a lump sum amount So absorption costing says that the total cost per unit if the firm were to calculate the cost for one single unit that should be made up of direct cost per unit plus overheads or indirect cost per unit now this leads to our next problem that we will discuss under absorption costing firms can calculate direct cost per unit that will be available so you would have a, this information that how much would be the cost of raw material per unit you would again know the cost of labor per unit that would be available so that is something that managers would would always have now what is not available with managers is how do you calculate the overheads or indirect cost on a per unit basis that will not be available so you you would not know rent per unit you would not know electricity per unit you would not know supervisor salary per unit so that is something that managers would have to calculate managers will calculate this through something called an overhead absorption rate overhead absorption rate is a predetermined rate now let me explain what predetermined means a predetermined rate means that before the business actually starts producing they will already have to estimate that how much will be the overheads or indirect cost on per unit basis now everyone needs to understand this that firms have to estimate their selling price or total cost per unit even before they start producing because if you have to sell something you need to determine the price the price is always determined at the start so the business has to estimate that how much will be our overheads they will be your estimated overheads 
and how do you trace these overheads on a per unit basis that is why it's called a predetermined rate so before you even start producing you need to calculate the overhead absorption rate which is a predetermined rate to trace overheads on a per unit basis and we use a simple formula for overhead absorption rate that is called overhead absorption rate is equal to budgeted overheads you guys can see i'm using the word budgeted over here which means estimated over budgeted activity so overhead absorption rate says that you need to trace these overheads to a suitable budgeted activity now we'll discuss about this budgeted activity in the later videos as well but budgeted activity means that you need to trace these overheads on something that you can link the overhead to the output all right so we'll just take a look at an example to understand what the overhead absorption rate implies and how does that help a manager so now let's say i'm a chair manufacturer all right so i've taken a small uh, factory or a small place where i'm manufacturing these chairs now i have taken out the cost that i will incur in manufacturing so i know for every chair that i make I need raw material, you need raw material to make your chair. So I need two kgs of material and one kg is available at $4. So I can now easily calculate that for one chair that I make, I would need $8 for raw material, right? Now let's take a look at your labor. I know for labor, labor has to work three hours to manufacture one chair and they have to be paid a wage rate of $6 per hour. So again, I can calculate this that for one chair that I make, I need to pay labor $18, right? So can you guys see that these are costs that can be traced for one single unit? That's why these costs are called direct cost. And let's say for every chair that I make, I will attach a logo to it. That logo costs me $5 per unit. Now these three costs over here are all direct costs that are already available on a per unit basis. So they will help me in calculating my total cost per unit, right? But the firm does not only incur direct cost, a firm will also incur indirect cost or overheads. So let's say these are my overheads for the month. So I need to pay 30,000 as rent for my factory or the room from where I'm operating. 15,000 I have to pay every month for electricity bill and I have to pay supervisor salaries or other admin salaries amounting to $15,000 as well. Now these costs, as you guys can see, they are your indirect cost or overheads. Why are they your indirect cost? Because these costs are lump sum and they cannot be related or linked somehow to output per unit. I need to find what is the rent per chair. I need to find what is the electricity cost per chair and I need to find the salaries per chair. And I know that every month I will be able to make 5,000 units. So now the overhead absorption rate says that I need to trace these budgeted overheads. Again, these are my estimated overheads to my budgeted activity what will be the best suitable basis so in this case because i've kept it a very simple example we will modify this later a simple level of activity is output so i can trace these overheads to my output so if you guys see your total overheads are 60000 if you add them up and that's your output 5000 units so we can now say that the overhead absorption rate which is budgeted overheads upon budgeted activity $60,000 of overheads to make 5,000 units. So this becomes $12 per unit. That's your overhead absorption rate. You guys need to understand the meaning of it. So, so this means that besides your direct cost, for every unit that I make, each unit will incur $12 as indirect cost, which will amount to the cost for rent, electricity, and salaries for this example. So besides those three costs, we also have the indirect cost per unit, which is $12 over here. All right. So the purpose of overhead absorption rate is that you need to predetermine the rate at which you will trace overheads on per unit basis. Once you have your indirect cost per unit, you can add that to your direct cost and arrive at total cost per unit. Okay, so the purpose of absorption costing or total costing is that you need to calculate the total cost of your production, which includes both direct cost 
an indirect cost and for indirect cost we will use the overhead absorption rate.